is freezing. It's 55 degrees. It was raining. Oh my gosh. I was going to walk to the grocery store, but because it's, it's a block. It's, I mean, it's half a block, but uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that anymore. I'm going to drive. I'm not trying to be sick out here. I'm also, I know I'm not wearing the warmest of clothes. Um, damn, and now that I am taking the car, I kind of want to go to the grocery store that's further away, but I didn't want to be out that long because I wanted to do some work first. Um, and I have a meeting till one. Shoot. What should I do? I don't know. All right, so I just got back from the market, and it's, um, I think it's like an Armenian market, and they have this bread, it's called tahini bread. It smells like pizza, like I'm just getting such a nostalgic pizza smell. And the guy said that it was sweet, and I'm just gonna put some, maybe like some peanut butter and some blueberries on it, and just have that as my little breakfast. But it, <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, it smells amazing. It smells so amazing. Oh, oh my God, I'm so excited. I think I have to have a little bite without anything on it. And then I'll add some nutrition, nutritious stuff to it. I got two pieces. Oh God, I wish you could smell it. Oh my God. Oh, so much tahini. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be good with some like blueberries. I mean, it has tahini, so maybe I don't need another protein. Yeah, I was just looking at my tahini to see how much protein it has, but yeah. Oh my God, it tastes amazing. Yeah, so I've got some blueberries. I'm gonna stick those on there. <sighs> yummy, yummy breakfast. Let's go! <laughs> you guys, it's freezing. It is freezing out here, okay? I'm back. <laughs> so I went to the grocery store. I got the food. I had my food. And then I had a meeting. Um, ooh, but it's pretty out though. Ooh, there's the sun still at least. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I had my food and then I had, came home and had my food at my meeting. And then I had another meeting with a friend, which was supposed to be a work session, which I kind of started, but didn't get much work done because I was just sharing my feelings. <laughs> Um, but now I'm taking a walk. So I'm very proud of myself because I was about to start a Pomodoro and I was like, oh, I kind of want to play a little bit of best fiends. Like I just want to play a game and then I'll start. And I was like, you know what? The sun is still out. Go take a walk. So I'm taking a walk. I'm chatting with you. I'm looking at this Honda CRV. I've always wanted a Honda CRV. I love Hondas. It's really cute. Um, yeah, so taking a walk. Um, I had some, uh, I had some rice. I made some brown rice with some kale and green pepper and avocado. And then I had some soy sauce. Actually, it's like a no soy soy sauce. And then I had a just egg and I was like, oh, let me make a little like fried rice. So it wasn't exactly fried rice because the rice was fresh, but I had that. It was good, and I have a coffee that I just made upstairs to keep me warm. But, I mean, look at the freaking sky. Like, it looks like it's about to rain again any second. So, just taking a walk. So, they called about my car, and they said that I'm not going to get a loaner, a new loaner, because they're short on cars. So, that's fine with me. Um, <laughs> yeah but I'm feeling good, I'm in better spirits. And I, like, I, I just can't keep stuff bottled up. I just need to talk, I just really need to get that shit out there and, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't remember if I talked about the, me saying like, oh, am I taking my acting career serious enough? And then I had two opportunities, but I'll, I'll say it now. I'll go back when I watch these tapes later, if I've already talked about it, I'll delete this next part. So I was saying on my Instagram stories that I'm wondering if I need to be more serious about my acting career, if I haven't been leaning into it as much. 
And then as soon as I said that, I checked my messages and saw that an actor cousin that I have here that I haven't met messaged me. And also um, I got a, uh, hello, I got a request from a very big director for my headshot and resume, which is really cool. So if you're not an actor um, or in the entertainment world or know anything about that, the fact that a big director just asked for my headshot and resume is is like a pretty big deal, especially because I didn't reach out to him first. He reached out to me um, and asked for my material. So I guess the I mean, it's kind of like being it's kind of like being headhunted, I guess. So like if you have a corporate job and another job is like, hey, we'd love to get your resume. It's kind of like the same thing. Now, if, you know, I get an audition, then that's kind of like, hey, we'd love to interview you, right? Um, so I guess that's the equivalent. If you can apply it or think about, oh my God, did I just step in poop? I hope I didn't step in it, just stepped over it. Oh, no. Ew. Mm. Find a leaf or some grass. I think I stepped in it. Um, maybe somebody is smoking weed. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, so that's a pretty big deal. And just, I sent my stuff and that's all I can do. And, you know, we'll see. But um, it's definitely not something that I'm going to write home about because then my parents will be like, so did you hear about that thing? And it's kind of like, well, if I hear something, you'll be the first to know, you know? Um, you know, it's all, uh, I think there are ways to create better circumstances in this career for sure. Did I almost just do it again? Um, but there aren't any guarantees of anything. I mean, even if you book a pilot uh, of a show, they could cancel it. They could replace you. Anything could happen. So, uh, yeah. But that was encouraging to see, you know, that maybe, that maybe all I need to do because I do think that I do a lot regarding my acting career. You know, I think that um, I think that I I audition a lot. I submit myself for a lot of stuff. Um, I make it known that I'm an actor and this is what I do. Um, but maybe the insight that I got from you know those two things happening is like you just need to sit back and receive. Now you've planted the seeds, let them grow, right? Just let them mature and grow and shoot out of the ground you know you know how seeds do uh yeah what else christmas stuff okay so i thought about getting a christmas tree this year also thinking about like oh, it'd be nice to manifest a christmas trip you know just like i don't know something popping up and hey i'm actually gonna be in whatever country for Christmas. Um, so I've been thinking about that, thinking about it, not to an extent of getting like worried about it, just thinking like, oh, that'd be nice. And just kind of letting it go. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. But that'd be like, that'd be nice. Like, oh, that'd be nice. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I went on my bike today. I think it was on there for a total of 35 minutes. I kept hopping on and off because my butt was hurting a little bit. My legs were hurting, so I'd hop on and off. But yeah, but I think I've done 35 minutes. My back is feeling better. It's like when I lift up my legs above my waist, I do get a nice stretch in it. I should book another massage, actually, for like Saturday again. See if the woman who did it before is going to be there. But I am going to teach my Pilates class tomorrow, so that should be good. Um, yeah, and just take it easy. Keep stretching keep taking care of myself, keep addressing the pain and, you know, just kind of like sending love to the area. So I'm going to finish this walk and I'll tap in later. But if I don't, then I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> Megan the Stallion came out with this line with TikTok, this clothing line, and I missed out on getting the shirt, but not TikTok, Cash App. But I got these shorts and I'm so excited. So this is the package that they came in. Look at that cool sticker, right? That's dope. 
Um, <clears throat> so let's see what they want like. Let's see all the packaging. Oh, cool. So these are the shorts. So I saw this little thing on the website and I wasn't sure if it was like a sticker. I didn't know it was actually a part of the shorts, but it is. And let me see what else. Oh, cash by cash app paper. This is just the packing list. Cool. So I'm going to try these on and show them to you. Well, let me pull them out of the package first. <clears throat> And it was cool because I got to pay with um, my cash app and I think I got like 25% off, which I didn't realize was gonna happen. Look at them, they're so dope. They look short, honey. So the tag says cash app and the back says cash by cash app, hot girl. So it's like this hot girl collection. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Let me see. Yeah, and the little thing is in the back. All right, I'm gonna put them on <laughs> and turn off the camera. One sec. Okay, so this says hot girl. I love it. Um, yes, I love these. They're a little small. I got mediums. Probably could have done with a large, but I like I usually get medium stuff. Um, Especially with like workout spandexy stuff, I usually get medium because the large just ends up being too big. So yeah, look how fire these are. So these are like flames running up and down the shorts. Oh my god, I love them! Yay, I I very much feel like a hot girl. I want to find out if the t-shirt is back, if they're gonna restock it. I know it was limited, but maybe because this is super fucking cute. I mean. Come on, hot girl, ew. <laughs>